Nicolas Cage on acid, covered in blood, wielding a self-forged axe. What more do you need? <laughs> Mandy, written and directed by Panos Cosmatos, is a revenge horror midnight mood fest that slowly builds into this overflow of blood, drugs, and metal. Like, literal metal, but also the music. It was haunting as hell. Panos directed Beyond the Black Rainbow, which was a kind of moody sci-fi horror that left a lot of people really intrigued, but a little unsatisfied. Mandy feels like an exercise of free expression compared to the more linear structure of Beyond the Black Rainbow. In my opinion, it allowed for a much more expressive film, definitely a lot more artistic. He uses light and color to evoke moods in the viewer, and his techniques are so interesting and different that honestly, this is one of the more unique experiences I've had watching a movie all year. While something this different might not be for everyone, I really suggest anyone who loves film, check this guy out. Nicolas Cage as Red gives another classic and over-the-top performance, but with a director like Panos, the over-topness is utilized. This might be my new Nicolas Cage film. Honestly, he goes through a range of emotions in this movie, and even when it's a little wacky or a little over the top, it feels purposeful and it's used well. For those of you who already know and love Nick Cage, this is definitely one for you to put on your shelf. And for those of you who don't, this is one for you to see him in full force. Linus Roach plays Jeremiah Sand, a crazy, narcissistic cult leader, and I really have to talk about this character because I actually watched a Q&A where the director said he originally wanted Nick Cage in that role. After watching this movie, I'm really glad it was Linus. He brought some depth to that character that I honestly didn't think would be possible in a movie like that. I really haven't felt as uneasy about a character in a movie in a long time and there's one scene in particular that will make you laugh, feel sick, and feel horrified, like, all at the same time, and it really wouldn't have worked without Linus. To talk about Mandy and not talk about the practical effects would really not be okay. Panos decided to go with as much fake blood and real stunts as he could, and it, oh my gosh, it paid off. LSD-like effects were definitely a key contributor to some of the more intense and weird scenes I've seen all year. I really loved how every shot was framed, and even the film used gave this movie a really special look. Director of photography was Benjamin Lieb, and I honestly hadn't heard of him before this movie, but I don't think that's gonna last very long. The movie was beautiful. Hand in hand with the cinematography was definitely the awesome score. Johan Johansson scored the movie with a heavy metal opera. It just worked so well with the 80s metal and fantasy elements that were pretty much used to drive the whole film forward. Unfortunately, Johan passed away right after finishing the score for this movie, so technically, it's the last movie he was able to do. Some great movies that he's worked on include The Theory of Everything, Prisoners, Sicario, and Arrival. In my opinion, this last score of his was maybe the best he's ever done, and I really think he's gonna be remembered for, even if it's a small, it's an impactful body of work. Mandy was a trip, and I'm not just saying that. If you're a film person, a Nick Cage person, or you just wanna see something wildly different, go see Mandy. If none of that is you, maybe not so much. I honestly wouldn't argue with someone if they called this movie a masterpiece, and if someone really didn't like it, I wouldn't have too many arguments for them either, especially if they were just a casual moviegoer. Personally, I thought it was brilliant. I give Mandy a 9 out of 10. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Sorry if my videos for the last couple have been a little bit interrupted by some music in the background. You know, it happens. You gotta, you gotta kinda deal with your neighbors if they're having a pool party, cause, you know, pool parties. Nothing wrong with that. Anyway, thank you for watching, subscribe for more, and like, comment, and share with your friends, please. Thank you.